So now at the end of the project, the important findings for us as part of this uh, development have been the ability to do vehicle to grid, or as we call it now, vehicle to grid integration, VGI, which enables us to look at multiple manufacturers and do test and performance tests to verify that with different cars and OEMs, we have the performance that we want onto the grid. So it was important to check that. We validated as a rollout with multiple cars and a large fleet now across Denmark and on the island of Bornholm. So this has been a great development for us. As well, on the same point, we've been able to develop grid services. So the project has been able to show multiple services to the grid, both on DK1 and on DK2, which are two separate grids inside Denmark. And that's been a great validation of the ability of these EVs with the chargers to be able to deliver fast and efficient uh, services to the grid. So that's been a great development of Parker. Um, we have lots of learnings that we can now take out of the Parker project to do more mass uh, deployments. Some of the mass deployments uh, will include new chargers, new vehicles, and it is important for us to have access to these new vehicles. So we look forward in the future to have bi-directional cars for multiple OEMs that we can roll out across the world with these services to the grid.